Welcome to Mr. Brandt's fifth grade everyday math review. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing lesson 3.5. And uh, in 3.5, we do, played a game, Fraction Top It. So as you can see, this is what your what the worksheet looks like. And they give you four random numbers. Well, it says they gave Eddie four random numbers. For ours, we're going to use the numbers 2, 8, 7, and 4. And the goal is, the goal of fraction top it is to end up with a bigger divisor, or excuse me, a bigger quotient than your partner. And then if, if you do, then you get to keep all their cards. And I'd just like to remind you that fractions are division problems. So as you can see here, we've got our fraction bar line. And up above, we're going to put two numbers, add them together, put two numbers at the bottom, add them together, ending up with a fraction. And we're going to use that fraction to make a division problem. So I'm going to just kind of randomly put in some numbers here. And I'm going to put in, um, I'm just going to go in order for one example. I'm going to go 2 plus 8 and then 7 plus 4 on the bottom. So if we did 2 plus 8, that would be 10. And 7 plus 4 then will be 11. So that would give us a fraction 10 elevenths. And if we did 10 divided by 11, we would actually end up with 10 elevenths. And if you notice, 10 elevenths is less, it's less than 1. So let's see if we can get a bigger answer than, than that. Let's see if we can get bigger than that. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. So let's go 8 and 4 and 7. 8 and 4 and 7 and 2. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So I'm going to make a sideways equal sign. 8 plus 4 is 12. And that's going to be over 7 plus 2, which is 9. So 12 ninths, we can see that 12 ninths is bigger than 1. If we divide that out, 12 divided by 9, that's 1. 1 times 9 is 9. 3 is less than 9, so that gives us one remainder 3. The number before our remainder becomes a, is our whole number. The remainder is our numerator, and then the divisor is always the denominator, so 1 and 3 ninths. So even though we have four different numbers, um, we have a variety of ways to get to that. Your goal is to follow that same process, but you want to get the biggest answer possible. You want to get the biggest answer possible. Now, the next question is asking you for a rule that Eddie could use to always get the biggest answer possible. That I'm not going to give you a lot of help with because I want you to come up with that on your own. Uh, so use those numbers two, six, three, and four. Put them in put them in different orders if you're not really sure, and try to get some different answers. Or you can just if you say I know what it is, you can jump right to getting the biggest answer, and then come up with your rule. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the practice. For the practice, they want you to write the value of the bold number. I, I went ahead and underlined it. And again, they're asking for the value. I'm going to write that down. Not the place, the value. So if we look at the 2, what place is the 2 in? The 2 is in the hundreds place. So if you have two hundreds, what's the value of that? The value of that is 200. Okay, next one. This is in the ten thousands place. 
So if you have two ten thousands, what's the value of that? The value of that is 20,000. And our last number, it's in the millions place. So if we have two millions, what's the value of that? The value is two million. Notice the two, if we start here and move to the right, it's one, two, three, three digits. So we have to have three same number of digits here one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so that's one way you can double check remember they're asking for the value not for the place have a great rest of your day and hope this video was helpful for you